What is up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower Speedway, home to the Ridge Jump, and we do have another amazing lineup of drivers going up against the tower, which these are our drivers right here. Currently sitting as king of the tower, we have Adam in his 99 SVT Lightning. Now that vehicle definitely outperformed all the vehicles last week in this lineup from the quarter mile track as well as the Ridge Jump. He just really handled himself well, even against the Porsche 935, which is driven by Pussycat for his debut last week. He did phenomenal, and I know he's really itching at getting that top spot as King of the Tower. In third position, we have Simple Man Mustang Diecast representing the red alien car, which is also holding down his position very well against the Porsche 911 GT3 RS driven by Strictly Diecast in that beautiful blue. Then in fifth position, we have End Count in the Lancer Evolution in yellow. And he is definitely rocking the number five and doing it well in his fifth position. But hopefully he can change that door number so he can move his way up the list. And then as gatekeeper, we have Cody Collins in the Tony Stewart Monte Carlo. Now he's gonna have to hold off a new driver, which is going to be Mopar Chaser showing up in his formulator now that is a beautiful formula gen e car now it's definitely going to give the monte carlo a run for its money especially being electric we're going to see how well he does on the straight as well as the jump and then if we can get to it big daddy diecast is just eager to get his name on the track with his 427 cobra metal on metal with the large lace wheels and then we have other drivers for future races. So let's go ahead and get the test vehicles on the track. Let's make sure the straights are good, as well as the ridge jump. All right, so it seems like we still have some track alignment issues. The Mustang kind of went off track just like the 911 last week did. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure everything's in line. There's something throwing it off. Let's get the construction crew out there to make sure everything is good. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that the track is good for this test vehicle in lane two. All right, we did about five or six runs on the straight as well as the ridge. Made sure everything was good. The security and the, the track patrol car gave the thumbs up. So let's get the drivers ready and start out with Mopar Chaser going up against Cody Collins. All right, guys, here we go. Mopar Chaser in the first ever electric formula on the track against the Monte Carlo. Let's see how well he does in. All right, so the electric car definitely proved its worth on the straight with that throttle response. Let's see if he can do it again. All right, Mopar Chasers given Cody the outside since he is being challenged, but that also gives Cody the benefit of avoiding the spike strip. Let's see how well he does. Talk about a close DNF, but his nose does pass the threshold, so it does count as a point towards him. But it looks like Cody didn't make it off the jump. He's upside down. We'll see if he wants to go for a second one, just in case it was just one of those one-off jumps. So let's get everything cleared and ready to go. Both drivers are ready. Let's get the ridge jump going in. All right, so both of them got a DNF, but Mopar Chaser still does have a winning point on the ridge. So let's get these drivers reset and going again. Both drivers are ready for the third and final race. Mopar Chaser still has a point on him. So there we have it. Cody's car just didn't have the umph on the jump. 
but it looks like the win goes to Mopar Chaser. He will be advancing and going up against in count in the yellow Evo. All right, so we will get these drivers lined up. Cody's car is being sent off. He does have three other vehicles, but he's going to have to fall in line with all the other drivers that are waiting to go against the tower. So let's get these next drivers going and see how far Mopar Chaser is going in the first ever Gen E formula on the track. All right, here we go. We got the Gen E in lane one and the Evo X in lane two. Let's see how well they do on the straights. And the Evo answered back saying, I don't care if it's all wheel drive, electric, whatever, this Evo is going to handle its business. And count ready in. All right, the Evo is now in his territory of the ridge jump. Let's see if Mopar has what it takes to take out the Evo. And the Evo solidified that first race. Let's get this next one going in. Talk about a good bumper to bumper finisher right there for Mopar Chaser. It just wasn't enough. The Evo stayed ahead of him till the finishing line. Now end count will go up against Strictly in the Porsche 911. All right, Strictly is in lane one in the 911 and end count in lane two in the Evo. Let's get this race going in. Strictly making that Evo look like it is not all wheel drive. Let's see how well he does in this next one in. All right, Strictly solidifying the first race in the quarter mile. Now let's see how well he does on the jump against the Evo in. Sending into the corner, but it looks like they're both DNFs. Looks like the drivers are okay. Let's get them reset. All right, drivers are reset, but they are in alternating positions. We have Strictly in the outside and in count in lane five. Oh, Strictly finished. And I thought the Evil was out and down for the count, but he continued, but just did not pass the finish line. So Strictly takes that first one. Oh, Strictly is holding it down. Can he win this last and final race against the Evo? Oh, hey guys, Chopper Bob. I was wondering if you guys were going to be missing me the first couple races. I am in the air, but this is something I had to highlight. Strictly caught the spike strip and went flying off track, giving that win to end count. So let's make this final race worth y'all's wild. Oh man, talk about a back and forth. Strictly and end count are tied. Let's see who wins this one in. All right, looks like Strictly kicked up the spike strip and passed it on to end count. And it's stuck under his Evo, so it gives the win to Strictly and he will be going up against the alien car driven by Simple Man. Let's see if he can surpass him. Here we go, Strictly is going up against Simple Man in the alien car. Let's get this going in. All right, it looks like Simple Man took the first one. Let's get the second one going in. Oh man, Simple Man just showed up strictly. The 911's having a hard time. Let's see if he could do it on the ridge.
Temple Man flipped it around past the finish line after he wrecked into the intersection, but it looks like Strictly went off and almost took out the Eibach truck and this poor guy just kind of sitting back watching the races. Everyone seems to be okay. Let's get the track reset and get race two going. Simple Man is definitely heading for Pussycat. He really wants to go head to head with him again. Let's see if he can do it. With a finisher from Strictly. Throwing Simple Man off course. Talk about awesome. Oh wow, they are really fighting neck to neck right now. All right, Simple Man thought he had that one in the bag, but Strictly showed him up. Let's see how this goes. Guys, did you just see that? Strictly just advanced and took out Simple Man. My dude landed in the grass. Hopefully they mowed it because, uh, yeah, hot car over some dry grass equals fire. But let's go ahead and get an aerial view of Strictly. There he is, guys. Wow, that looked awesome from up here. Can't wait to see the replay of that one. Uh-oh, here we go. Porsche versus Porsche. Pussycat is ready to go, and Strictly is as well. Let's get the track going. All right, here we go. Strictly in the 911 and Pussycat in the 935. Let's see how this head-to-head -head battle goes. Pussycat is not even worried about the 911. The 935 is definitely pulling on top end. Strictly showed him up on that one. Unfortunately, he can't race in lane three and four because of that wide fender. He catches on the drop, so let's get this going. All right, Pussycat held down the straights, but can he do the ridge jump? Let's see this head-to-head -head Porsche battle. Oh, and neither one of them finished. All right, so uh, Pussycat, you gotta stay on track and actually cross the finish line. And Strictly, I don't know what you're doing, but you're facing the wrong way, buddy. All right, here we go. The pressure is on both Porsche drivers. Pussycat is giving him a hard time. And he failed to finish again, giving up that point to Strictly. Nice. All right, Strictly, all he has to do is win this one, and he has a chance to go up against the Lightning. Let's get this going. Oh, man, Pussycat held it down and took that win. And it looks like Strictly is upside down on mid-turn, but he looks okay. But these guys are really fighting for that position and top spot. All right, here we go, one to one. Either Strictly can take over and advance, or Pussycat holds him off and gets another chance against the Lightning. Clean finish, and Pussycat takes the win on that one. He will be going up against Adam in the 99 Lightning. Here we go, guys. Pussycat is getting another shot at the King of the Tower. Adam's Lightning is a fast one, so let's see how well he does. All right, here we go. Pussycat said he's not worried. He feels like he can still beat the Lightning. All right, here is where driving skills comes in. Pussycat can take this one. He will be the new King of the Tower. Hopefully he can hold him off. With the lane change, Pussycat is now on the inside. Hopefully he can win this one. If not, Adam is still the winner. And he goes... He goes off in reverse while Adam went off course. I don't even know where he was going, but he didn't cross the finishing line giving Pussycat that win. All right, one to one. Who is going to be the final winner of today's Ridge Jump? Let's get this going. With the face-to-face -face finisher, Adam holds his spot as king of the tower.
All right, guys, there we go. Talk about some solid racing. Here is the new lineup and still currently King of the Tower. We have Adam in the blue SVT Lightning, followed by Pussycat in second in the 935. Now in third position, we have Strictly Diecast driving the Porsche 911. In fourth position, we have Simple Man Mustang Diecast driving the red alien car. In fifth, we still have the Evo driven by End Count. And as gatekeeper, we have Mopar Chaser driving the Formulator. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's racing. We had a lot of excitement, crashes, and new winners. And if you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter at Horsepower Speedway. Peace.